Dude, what if I catch it on the first try? Let's just go for a Pokeball. Come on, I don't even want to waste a Heal Ball, because... Wait! <gasps> Bro! That was three rolls! What is going on YouTube? Chizzy here, and I'm back with another episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on that first episode. It was a re-upload, technically, because I switched it over to a Nuzlocke. But it seems like you guys definitely, I mean, it was 100% the move. Because everybody seems to like that a lot more. I think I just had more fun doing it as well. So this is going to be much more of a challenge, but I'm definitely down for it. I'm glad you guys showed so much support. Drop the likes in the comments, even though it was a re-upload. So thank you guys so much. I say re-upload, but really it's totally different. It's like a totally different vibe, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. So we are supposed to go to Jubilife City today. That's my plan. And there are some really cool Pokemon that I want to get from there. But before that, we do have to hit up this route. It's very quick. So let's go through that right now. I already got my first encounter here, which was the Burmy, of course. And I was very salty about it at the time. In fact, I was really salty about getting Bidoof and Burmy. But the truth is, I did look at the documentation and they buffed both of them hardcore. Like, I'm pretty sure Burmy, when it evolves into Wormadam, which I will get, I'm not going to get a Mothem. Mothem is dope. Mothem, they gave like 110 special attack and 100 speed, which is absolutely insane. With Tinted Lens. Absolutely busted. But, Wormadam, they didn't do it as much. They didn't buff it as much. It still has 110 special attack, though. And they kind of made it a little bulkier. So, you can't really complain. I mean, a Nuzlocke is a Nuzlocke, but these Pokemon aren't that bad, actually. Because they made everything balanced. So, I love this ROM hack already. It's going to be a ton of fun. Anyways, this encounter isn't going to count because I can't catch it. Oh, of course we get Shinx, which is the one that I actually wanted. Wow. Oh, if only I just started the Let's Play today instead, huh? Oh, well, it's all good. So we are not going to be able to get Shinx, but maybe on another route. Who knows? So last, Natalie has a Sentret, and it is also level 7. So I definitely can't play around with these. Especially they got the quick attack and everything. So any crits, stuff like that could be really, really brutal for me. So I really got to watch out. Like, right there. If they crit me here, they could technically take me out, I believe. So, like, that isn't something that I should risk. Honestly, it isn't. But I'm lazy. <laughs> Dude, why do I do this? Oh my, if, if they had crit me, I would have lost Eevee. So don't do that. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I can't play that game. I need my, uh, my Glaceon. It's too important. Anyways, let's go ahead and switch out here. Um, let's show off Burmy, dude. <laughs> why not? What I found... From training this a little bit off screen is that the hidden power that it has is actually fighting so i do have a super effective move against normal types right now which is great on top of that i'm a modest nature remember that so that's actually really good for this pokemon that still did nothing bro the tackle did like the same amount are you kidding me this is probably a weaker hidden power because it does depend on your iv so maybe it's not the full 70 but it's going for defense curl so i have no issue here let's keep spamming hp fighting it's fairly easy to find out that it was HP fighting just because of the fact that there's so many normal types around. And fighting is really the only thing that is super effective against it. So we will be able to beat this Bidoof one-on-one -on -one with my Burmy Sanders, but man, this thing is going to be tough to train. I got to train it all the way to 20 without it dying to get it to a Wormadam. That is going to be Wormadam hard, that's for sure. Next trainer, we are going to be showing Bidoof some love. Again, I'm going to try to use each and every Mon that I get because... Well, shoot, I don't really have an option, do I? So, let's go ahead and start tackling this Hoot Hoot. This is not the best matchup because my tackle is doing more. I'm surprised. It is one level higher than me, so I was a little bit scared as it goes for Growls and stuff like that. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to keep spamming tackle. And I do not get crit, so I will be able to take something down with the Bidoof. That makes me so happy inside. And we get to level 7. Let's go. Hey, Starly's going to come out. I do not want to stand on that. Wait, my Burmy changed cloaks? But I'm in the gra- I don't get it, I'm in the grass. I thought it only changes to this one when it's like in a building. I, I, I don't really know. I, I have to do more research on it because... Um, I really- yeah, I'm not really sure about the whole Burmy situation. Apparently it changes cloaks according to where your location is currently. If it's in the grass, then you're a grass type. If you're- well, for Wormadam anyways. And then if you're like in a building, it's like steel or- and then there's like ground. I think it's the ground one right now. And then once you evolve into Wormadam, you cannot change cloaks anymore. That, that's what I know about this game. But I actually got to plan that out because I wouldn't mind getting the bug steel one. That seems really cool. It's like a, it's like a, a hand-me-down scissor or something. <laughs> like, a, like a bad scissor. Um, I mean, 
We'll see when the time comes what I need, but all of them do have really good stats, so it doesn't really matter. And we have the last trainer here. We're just going to show some love to the rest of the team. I'm going to lead off with Turtwig. Hopefully they don't have like a Starly or something. Ooh, three Pokemon. Oh no, Growlithe, this is just as bad. Uh-oh, I probably should heal more. Like, I'm kind of not doing myself a favor because look at my team. Everyone's kind of weak, but you know what? Let's go to Pimpan Z. I think we should be fine. It goes for Hal. Oh boy, here we go. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start going for some scratches here. That's doing nothing. It's at plus two. Dude, I can't lose. I can't afford to lose any Pokemon, man. Dude, plus three. Uh oh. Wait, it doesn't. Does it have an attacking move? The, other than Ember? Because if it has Ember, I'm fine. Thank God. <laughs> what an idiot. Dude, if it was at plus three and it had, let's just say, like a. Even. Okay, shoot. Even Tackle. That would have been scary. I will do the thing, guys, where I do allow items. Because I really think that this is already an enhancement hack, so it's very difficult. And a lot of people seem to be okay with that anyways, because of the fact that this is enhanced. So things are already harder. Look, they're even switching on my Absorb. Look at that play, wow. Okay, you wanna play this game? I can switch too. Ooh, I'm scared to go to Chimchar, honestly. Like, what if it has an HP something that's really good? I'm scared, let's go to Siakam instead. I don't have a wing attack yet. I think I get it in the next level, but ooh, we predict and protect so easily. Let's go for a quick attack. <laughs> I'm kidding. Man, this is- dude, it just went for triple. Yeah, see, these trainer battles are gonna be difficult, guys. Like, see what the hidden power is. Watch it be like ice or something. We're good, we're good. Like, I just- I have to be very, very careful. So we do take out Burmy there. Get some level up for Shell Yeah, and he becomes a Razor Leaf user, which is fantastic. No wing attack for Starly yet, but I think it's coming very soon. Zigzagoon's gonna come out. We might as well go into Turtwig. So we did survive this route without having to heal, but I do need to be careful in the future. And we do have Razor Leaf now. So go ahead and ground me, I don't care. This should be able to be close to knocking you out. And I just got a crit, so that's even better. Okay. Another level. That's what I like to see. Alright y'all, so we have made it to Jubilife, and as always, Dawn is gonna come say hi. And I believe she's just gonna show us around, and then we see Looker and all that stuff, so... You've already got six Pokemon with you. Yeah, kind of, because this is a Nuzlocke, and I kind of have to catch whatever is first, otherwise I'm screwed. And there's Looker hiding not very well at all. <laughs> as you guys know, this guy is a very interesting character that they added into the game, and he actually is in multiple games as well. Uh, but he is going to give us some cool stuff right now. We're just going to skip his little speech, because I'm not here for it, honestly. Don't be sure. What a weirdo, dude. Like, this guy's always been weird. And then there's the verse recorder. As I said in the last time I played this, um, the verse recorder was essential to Pokemon on YouTube. Back then, a lot of people did Wi-Fi battles, and one day someone decided to use that verse recorder with an emulator and be able to screen record, and that launched Pokemon into existence on YouTube. That was, that's honestly a throwback for me. I used to use the verse recorder with my fourth gen battles. Man, th those were the times. Hard Gold, Soul, Silver battles? Who remembers those? There was even the Wi-Fi Battle Finder or whatever, the Battle Finder on Smogon. Oh my goodness. Wait, I think it was Serebii? One of those sites. Anyways, that was a throwback. Yeah, we gotta go to the trainer school because we do get some cool stuff there. And of course, Gavin's in there. We have to say hi to him, which sucks. Well, we don't have to, but he is in there. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and heal and we'll check out the town. So as you guys may know, we do have the reporters in this Jubilife city. In fact, the first three cities do have these reporters. And basically what they do is they give you all the starters from a certain region which is a huge gift from Renegade Platinum only. Now, obviously, we're doing a Nuzlocke, so if you guys didn't read the rules from last time, I basically have a rule for these gift Pokemon. I can only still get one Pokemon per area, which means, let's just say, for example, she's gonna give us Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, and on top of that, there's an egg in the city too. So between those four gifts, I can only choose one for the walkthrough. Now, again, I do have my SOS box from last time, so what SOS means is, I can put the other three into the box, and then whenever I'm at one or less Pokemon, if that ever happens, I can only withdraw them. So that's the only time I can use them, and I need to choose them on the spot. I cannot just interchange them whenever I want. So those are the rules, guys. I just wanted to put that out there. Anyways, we do have to take a little quiz before we get those Pokemon in the first place, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, so we already know the answers because I already did this the first time, but you guys remember, I'm really good at taking tests, so obviously we're going to get these all right. Is Pikachu an electric type? Mm, maybe? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's just do this real quick. Uh, no, it's psychic. We know that. 
And all these are cancel based because we're going to get Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. His name is not Samson Oak. That was so random. I, don't, I still don't get the whole concept behind that. I actually forget this one. I remember I was struggling with this one. I didn't know what to put. I think I said no, no, right? Oh crap, no! I actually forgot that. That's so embarrassing. I've already taken this test before. Imagine retaking a test and getting one wrong that you didn't before. That is so pathetic. Alright, yes. And then no. And then no. Oh yeah, we had two- I remember now. I said we had two no's in a row, so the next one has to be yes. I remember that now. There you go. And then now we have to battle her. I do remember that, because I did the whole test-taking tactic thing that nobody agreed with. <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess I'm going to lead with Burmy. And this actually is okay because of the fact that I can resist the grass moves. But... Let's see how much Bug Bite does. Ooh, that actually did a lot. Okay, we're going to 1v1 this Bulbasaur pretty easily. Dude, Burmy's looking pretty good. And Bug Bite is a physical move too. I am a special attacker, apparently. Um... Because of the uh, enhancements. Now, Charmander comes out, I can switch because I do have the set mode on. Um, people are mixed, have mixed feelings about that, but guys, I, I really do think that that's going to be better. I don't want to just lose all my Pokemon. Because this is a Nuzlocke after all, and I have to post this on YouTube. It's not like I'm just playing this for fun. So, I have people to entertain. I don't want everyone dying. So, Anyways, we're going to go ahead and Covet. Covet does so much damage. Because of the fact that... It's stab and everything. I don't even have adaptability on this Eevee, too. Let's go, level 8. See if we get anything new. We don't. Squirtle comes out. I do have a grass type. And I can just rage relief that. So this is a very easy battle here. And I'm really excited to get these three Pokemon. Now, I am going to wait till I get the egg from the trainer school, too, before I decide which one I get. But after that, I do have to make a decision, and I'm going to be stuck with that Pokemon. So I have picked up Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. I put them in the PC without looking at their nature. I do not know them yet in any way. But I do want to make sure to get that egg from this trainer school first because we're going to choose between the four Pokemon. Alright, so let's do the trainer school first and then we'll make that decision. For now, I'm pretty sure it's this girl that gives it to us, but let's go ahead and uh, grab this item over here quick. And it is a scope lens, which is super cool. You can get a ton of nice competitive items in Renegade Platinum in the early game, which is just so amazing. And I believe nobody says anything of importance here. I think this trainer right here is a psychic who actually, well, she's not a trainer, but she basically tells you your hidden power, which is really cool. And we can do that later because we will get the hidden power TM as well from here. Let's talk to Gavin. He's being a nerd and memorizing everything on the board. I, I told you guys this in the last episode, man. Of course, he's the one that says, teacher, teacher, you didn't, we, do we have to pass up the homework? When the bell rings, I, of course. And now he's over here studying the blackboard after class is already dismissed. Of course, we already know this. So we do deliver the parcel for him, it's a bunch of town maps, and then we get one too, because apparently his mom gives him two and my mom can't give me any. Very sad. Very sad, for sure. <laughs> I don't feel loved anymore. But anyways, he's gonna go to Ouroburg, there's a gym there, blah blah blah, but we all know he's waiting for me at the end of Jubal Life to challenge me to a battle. We already know that. This sneaky guy. Anyways, we have more important stuff to do, which is over here. I do want to get this next Pokemon, guys. So, they do give you an egg here, which I believe is an event exclusive to Renegade Platinum. And something that I found out- oh shoot, you know what? I, I need to make room. Alright you guys, so we have received our egg, and again, I don't know what's in there, obviously. There's a myriad of options. It is in the documentation, if you guys are curious what you can get. But I believe there's stuff like Magby, Alekid, Mantike, Azuril, Iglybuff. It, the, the list just goes on. So there's tons of stuff that you can get from this egg, even Badu. They're all pretty cool, so I'm not ruling this out yet. We might just take what's in the egg over the other three starters. But for now, let's go ahead and hatch it. Again, it takes only a couple steps and you should be able to. Which I love about this game. It's just, it's a waste of time to have to grind out eggs. Actually, this one's taking a minute. So that actually took longer than I thought. I wonder what Pokemon this is. It must have a bigger hatch rate, I suppose. I don't really know, but it did take longer. Normally they're instant, so let's see what it is. I'm actually very curious. Could it be a Munchlax then? Oh no, we gotta like it though. That's pretty fire. Hey, you guys already know I like it, my nickname for that. It's gonna be Say What. This is a shout out to my Crystal Kaizo where I did use an Electabuzz. So yes, I have used this Pokemon before already. Oh, I accidentally put Say W. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well then, that's not gonna make much sense. Anyways. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center, and we're going to decide between these four Pokemon. But again, I have already used Electabuzz before. The difference here, though, is that Electivire, you can get Electivire in Renegade Platinum. And they made it Electric Fighting, 
which is super cool of a dual typing. I don't think that even exists in real life, so it, it, it's going to be very... This is going to be a tough decision, all right? So we have our say W, which... <laughs> my bad, guys. My bad. Oh, I already saw the nature. It's serious. Ugh. All right, well, let's see. Static, too. Mm. I don't know. So the elected is serious. Let's see what these are. Our Squirtle is impish with Torrent. That is terrible. That is beyond awful. That's the second impish that I've gotten for a water starter. I got impish on Piplop too. So they really don't want me to have water types here. And our Charmander, which I called Chizyard. Naive, that's actually, that's really good. With solar power, okay, uh, I actually think Blaze is better than solar power because Oh, no, 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 we do want solar power because it ends up being Levitate on a Dragonfire Charizard. So when you evolve solar power Charmander in this game, you get a Levitating Fire Dragon dual typing for Charizard. Yo, I think my decision's already been made, but let's go ahead and check out... Oh, what? I got Modest on Bulbasaur too. Yo, that's really good too. But it's Overgrowth, it's not even Chlorophyll, so that's not worth. That That's actually bad. Yeah, no, that's not even worth. Guys, the, the decision is clear. I know I already have a fire type, I have Chimchar already, but how can I ignore a dragon fire Charizard with Levitate? Please. That is insane. Yeah, no, that's not even close. Um, As much as I love the fact that they made this electric fighting, I could probably get one later maybe in another route. Versus Charmander is a one-time thing, so I'm definitely not going to use my Say W. I'm going to be using Charmander, and it's got the charcoal too, so I can take these items. I, I just love how they just spoon feed you these items early. These are amazing. We're definitely going to use them, but for now, Charmander is going to be on the squad, guys. Update on the squad. These are the six I'm going to be rolling with right now. I just think it makes more sense to just keep Charmander on the team already, but Doof is going to have to take a seat. He's going to be using his vacation hours right now. Who knows? He could be back on the team. It just depends on the deaths. If I have a Pokemon that dies, Bidoof will come right back. But for now, he's going to take a... Spot on the bench for now. The dead box is still empty. Our SOS now has four. Again, it doesn't really matter because these are only used as a YouTube insurance policy. So basically, if I have one or less mons and I need to have content, then I can bring these out. So there are two trainers in the trainer school that you can take on. I want to do that right now because I need some experience. So let's go ahead and do that. The first one is School Kid Christine with a Ralt. So we are going to go ahead and lead off with Starly. And I really do want to get... Wing attack on this ASAP, so hopefully I don't lose this 1B. Okay, never mind. That does way too much, and I can't even risk a crit. Uh-oh. That's not good. I don't have a switch. Oh, boy. I need to 3 at KO somehow. This is going to be bad, guys. Shoot, man. I will go into my hurt wig, because it's a sassy nature. I can probably take two confusions. I think. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that for, for now, I suppose. Don't crit me, though. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try not to use items. Um, I know that I did say that I, I could, but I will definitely abstain from doing that, for sure. And I do get Wing Attack on my bird, which is fantastic. That was the move I needed there. And Staryu comes out- oh, now it's- see, now this is an issue, because I didn't know that they had a Staryu, and now my Grass-type is weak, and I don't know if they have, like, an Ice Beam or something like that, so I'm very scared. Let's go for the medium play. Let's go Let's go into Eevee. So, how about this? I'll turn items off. I'll try not to use them to the best of my abilities, unless it's to the point where I absolutely have to, but I, I don't think I'm going to use items at all. And then what I'll do is I will leave shift mode on, but then I'll do no items. So in a sense, like, it still makes it hard, you know what I mean? Anyways, this Staryu has hidden power. What? It's super effective. It's clearly fighting. That Of course they have HP fighting. That's rough. I kind of want to go to Burmy. Let's see, 8 plus... So I can still take a crit one. So I'm just going to go for another Covet. And then afterwards, I'm going to switch into Burmy on the HP fighting. It has to be fighting. Dude, Burmy actually might be good. <laughs> like, this is crazy. I never thought I would say that, ever. Ooh, I have my Steel Cloak now. Oh, they used a potion. No. Right, let's go for some Bug Bites. Now they're going to Water Gun. Oh, boy. That does so much. Dude, this is actually tough now. Dude, okay. Wow, I'm actually struggling without items. Hmm. Would HP fighting do more just because I'm modest? I don't think so. This is stab. I... 
Come on, man. Oh, that's doing way too- Yeah, I'm gonna die in the next one, so I gotta switch again. Okay, watch this play. I'm gonna go to you on the water gun. To take the water gun. I got crit too, oh no, and then I'm gonna go into Pimpanzi, so I don't have to take a water gun. That's my play. But dude, look at how I have to think this- this is crazy hard. And I don't know, because I don't think Scratch will kill y'all. Oh man, if I lose my starter here, let's see if Water Gun kills me. Oh my goodness. Dude, I did it. Dude, that was nerve-wracking. I'm gonna still try not to heal, but dang, I, this is why- I used like four mons against that Staryu, that was crazy. This is the second trainer, I'm now scared. I didn't even do any off-screen training, I just want to get into it, but... Hopefully we can do better, and they don't have a Staryu and a Ralts, for goodness sake. Abra. So, this is the person that gives you hidden power, so I'm sure the Abra is going to have hidden power, but you know what? I think this is a good matchup for me. Unless it's HP, Electric, or Ice, or whatever, I should be fine. Yeah, there we go. It wouldn't have killed either way, and I can quick attack the following turn. Or you can potion. Okay, so they can potion and we can't. That sucks. But I do have to follow my Nuzlocke rules. I, I really think that doing no items is good. I think that's going to be the play. But it's going to be very tough. Now, Sada comes out, I'm okay. I do have my Turtwig. Wow, man, that battle was absolutely... Like, I had to play it perfectly to even have a chance of not losing a Mon. But I think you guys would really enjoy that anyway, so I am going to stick with no items. But, <laughs> dude, the gyms are going to be incredibly difficult. Wow, I really have to be preparing. Alright, so that one was easy, and we do get Curse. That is a huge move for this guy, because I'm already slow anyways. And then to top it off, this gives you plus one attack and plus one defense, instead of Withdraw giving you plus one defense only, so we definitely want that. And now I believe Homeboy over here is going to give us Hidden Power. And you actually get 99 for every TM, which is so cool. And you can refill them later, apparently. So that's what I love. That's called Quality of Life Enhancements. I absolutely love that about Pokemon Renegade Platinum. So do you guys remember the first go around? I actually got HP Electric on my Chimchar. This time it's HP Fire, which is better than Ember. So I'll probably do that for now. But it's really not going to be useful in the long run at all. Everyone else, too, is terrible. Like, for example, my Turtwig is HP Bug or something, which is cool. Like, maybe I can hit Grass types with it, but it's pretty much useless. We've had our fun. Let's keep it going for now. I believe this guy's going to give us the Poka Etch, which is the Pokemon Watch, apparently. And basically, it's just a thing where you can use your bottom screen, as you guys can see. Hey, you guys can see what time it is. It is 1.53 p.m. And that's actually funny. The first go around that I did this, I think it was 1.41 p.m. So it's like I'm recording around the same time. No way. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it, it, it's just cool. Basically, all you do is, like, use all the options. I'm not gonna use any of these. So I like the one where there's Pokemon on the screen. One of the houses on the top right actually gives you a Quick Claw, which is a super cool item to get early, especially for your slow Pokemon. Like, shoot, that would be pretty good on Turtwig. And you guys know Quick Claws give me nightmares, because in Crystal Kaizo, the enemy always had one and would always activate, so now it's my turn. So if you head over to the left over here, you can actually get an old rod from this fisherman as well. And there is a body of water to the left over here, so we're definitely going to do that and get ourselves another Mon. Also gives you 10 dive balls too, which obviously these Pokemon aren't underwater, but they'll look cool in them because they're water types, so shoot, I'll take that for sure. Alright, so as you guys can see, this is a new route, Route 218, and there is a way of kind of strategizing this in terms of a Nuzlocke. I could save this for later and use like a super rod or something when I have that and getting a stronger Pokemon. But I feel like it's just better to stack the team as early as possible. If I use the old rod now, I can definitely train whatever I get and give it some EVs as we go as well. So I feel like that might be better. Also TMO3 Water Pulse here too, which is very, very solid. But let's just go and do some fishing. I actually don't remember. I think you have to press A when the exclamation mark comes. I, I, I guess I did it. Ooh. And we get a Finneon. I mean, that's normally a terrible Pokemon, but I think they buffed Luminion pretty sizably too. So let's just try to catch this thing. It's level 10. Shoot, why not? All right, let's go for a wing. Ooh. Wait. Even though they buffed it, I don't know. I think wing attack might... Do a lot because it's it's a tiny little fish. So let's just go for a quick attack first. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Oh, that's a zero. Oh my, this thing's bulky. And strong, apparently. Okay, I definitely want this. When would I ever say I want a Finneon? Oh my goodness. Um, this is actually kind of like the point where I actually want to go Turtwig here. <laughs> like, this is all bad. This thing's actually hecka strong. And it went for Charm, too. I cannot go for Razor Leaf because I don't want to crit it. 
I just realized that. And I deleted Absorb like an idiot. Hmm. It went for Tackle. Let's just go for HP Bug, I suppose. It really just tried to attract me. <laughs> so it is low enough now. I actually realized something. The Dive Ball says, a somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well on Pokemon that live in the sea. So it's no longer the whole underwater thing, because they did take out Dive. So actually, this should be better for this Finneon. So let's go ahead and use it. Plus, it'll look cool with the little water animation, so why not? One, two, three, and boom! We get ourselves a new Pokemon again, and I'm actually really happy that it's a Finneon. If I had gotten, let's just say, I think there's Magikarp in here, that would have been kind. I don't know, I like Gyarados a lot. But it's so rinse and repeat. We've used Magikarp a million times, so let's try out this new Finneon. They did buff the Pokemon. I did check out the documentation, guys. Luminion has like base 105 special attack and 105 speed, which is actually so good. So honestly, I feel like Nuzlocking this game is just so right. It's so perfect because they show love to everybody. So even getting a bad Mon isn't really that bad. Like, I can't even complain. So Finneon is awesome. I actually might prefer Luminion over Gyarados, in all honesty. But anyways, let's take a look. It is a quirky nature, so it's neutral. So it's not the best, but it's not the worst. And I'm cool with it as long as it doesn't affect me in a negative way. So that is perfect. We will take that. And its ability is Storm Drain as well. I don't know if there's a choice or not. I don't remember this thing at all. Like, frankly, I don't know anything about Luminion. I think it can get Storm Drain and something else. So hopefully Storm Drain is the better one. It is something that will allow me to eat water moves and on top of that get a special attack raise, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like I actually like Burmy, but I think it's gonna have to go for this. I definitely want this Pokemon on my team. Eevee is too nice. I want it to be a Glaceon. I love my starter. I want a Charizard that's Dragon Fire with Levitate. Trust me, I do. Grass-type is nice for the first gym. I gotta do it, man. So all you Burmy fans out there, I mean, you never know. I could use it later, as I said, but right now it's gonna have to go. <laughs> I'll actually grab the item from it too. And again, Burmy's a lot better than what I made it out to be the first episode, but for now, it's gonna take a vacation. So we have cleared out Jubilife. All that's left to do now is to go north where there's another route where we can get another mod. Now, obviously, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, Chizzy, dude, this is still really easy. You're getting so many new Pokemon. Like, is this even a Nuzlocke, bro? What's going on? And I think there was even a comment saying I should turn off Species Claws because of how easy it's going to be and how many Pokemon I'm going to catch. Listen, you guys, this game is made to be hard. Renegade Platinum is not Platinum. So trust me, it's going to get harder later. This is the early stages of the game. I have had people who have played this game before uh, with the Nuzlocke and they say it's nearly impossible sometimes and they couldn't get past a certain gym or stuff like that So trust me, it's not gonna be as easy as it seems right now It seems like I'm filling out my team, but that's the point because later on I'm gonna be losing them. All right, so don't worry guys I feel like there's a lot of people that just they can't be satisfied with anything But we are gonna go to this new route route 204 and without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this grass Let's see what we can get here. There's some cool stuff in here it is a Starly to start, and obviously Species Claws is going to activate here, so I can run and catch another one. Um, I think there's Badoo in this grass, which would be really cool. I do like Roserade, but there's also stuff like Caterpie and Weedle, so it could go south for us in that regard. But let's see what we get here. I'm so nervous. Suncurd. <laughs> Suncurd is considered one of the worst Pokemon ever, because I think it has base 30 in all of its stats. Now, that being said, I haven't done my research on Suncurd. I wonder if they made it better in this game. I'm sure they did because they balance everything out, but we'll take it, why not? It's such a cute Pokemon. So let's go ahead and catch it. Now, I'm kind of scared. I don't want to kill it because it's supposedly a weak monster. I'm not even going to go for a Covet. I'm going to go for a Bite maybe? <laughs> so we are not going to get a Pokemon for this route. There you go, that answers your question. All right, guys, everyone doesn't want me to get Mons for some reason. Route 204 is now canceled out. I cannot get a Pokemon here. Are you kidding me? I didn't go for a Covet specifically because I didn't want to kill it. And I end up critting it with Bite. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we have some trainers to battle and she calls us weak. That is a super shady move. Let's see what last Sarah got. A Shinx. Oh boy, she, we might actually be weak against this. It's gonna have Intimidate and this is all bad. Um, I don't think I can beat this one-on-one, -on -one, honestly. I'll just go Turtwig. It just makes it easier. Again, this is a Nuzlocke, so it's, it's we have to play Hardball with these people, alright? These trainers are no joke anymore. So let's go for some Razor Leaf action. And this is why. Oh, I'm getting crits 
all day right now. My goodness. Nidoran female. All right, let's go into... I know it's not a ground type yet, but let's try out our new Mon. Why not? Let's go ahead and try out Gilbert. The Finion. I have, again, I've never even touched this Mon before, let alone, not even in walkthroughs, but in on Showdown. Like, I've never used this thing ever. Oh my goodness, I'm getting crits. That is nuts. Look at these crits. And I just 2 KO'd that Nidoran pretty easily. Yeah, Gilbert's going to be a great member to the squad. Pidgey's going to come out. I don't really have too much for it, so I'll just go back into my Eevee. And I'll just go for some Covets. It's a very strong move right now. It should be a 2 KO. Yes, sir. And this Sand Attack, hopefully I don't miss. I miss, of course. And now, not only is there Sand all over the place, but there's also a Gust of Wind. So everything is going crazy, but we're going to be able to knock out Pidgey anyways. I don't know why I over dramatized that. There was no need for that, but hey, we defeat Last Sarah, and now there should be another trainer here. Yep, let's do it. The youngster Tyler. He's got one magic card. We should be fine. So I'm I guess I'm just training Eevee a little bit. We should be able to get Glaceon very soon because we get that ice stone uh in Orberg. So in fact you get any stone you want in Orberg. So I'm actually really excited for that. As it went for Flail at low HP, and that actually scared me for a sec. I was like, hold up, I cannot lose Eevee as I'm talking about evolving it. Alright, we're still safe so far, no dead Pokemon yet. May I please trouble you for a battle? Well, since you asked so nicely, sure, of course. Last Samantha, I appreciate the politeness. And we actually perfectly lead off with my Starly. I just want to train it, but that works. Oddish is going to go down here. What? It is so bulky. They must have buffed Oddish too. That just took a wing attack like nothing. This is a Jolly Starly, bro. I know Jolly doesn't affect the attack, but still. Bellsprout comes out. Okay, maybe if Bellsprout dies, it'll show that they buffed Oddish. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the case. Yeah, probably. I also grew a level, so that helps. And Badoo. There's actually Badoo in this grass, as I said earlier. I really did want one, because the fact that Roserade is one of my favorite Pokemon from this Gen 2. I, I feel like I'm saying everything's one of my favorite Pokemon now, but it's true. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff in Gen 4. It's one of my favorite Gens. As Double Team is always better than Growl, so let's do that. Yeah, I like Staraptor, I like Garchomp, I like Lucario. There's so many, like, dope Pokemon from this generation. Alright, you guys, so we are at a new area again. This is going to be the Ravage Path inside here. And we are going to be able to get another Pokemon. I know, it's crazy. But, hopefully we don't crit it this time around. And hopefully it's something cool, too. I, I, I don't really want, like, a Geodude or Zubat. Like, that's just so basic. Let's see what we get. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go, and this is going to be a funny one because I got an inside joke with someone from my Discord. Uh, well, everyone knows this. Um, one of my biggest uh, Twitch viewers and Discord friends, Preston, he loves Crobat, and I hate Crobat. And we just have this back and forth. I do want to catch this. I'm going to name it after him as well, even though it's a girl. Let's go for Water Gun. Hopefully I don't crit this. I do kind of want Crobat because it is, it is a good mon. I just hate it. And I just hate it because Preston likes it. Unfortunately, though, they do confuse me. So hopefully I hit through this. Gilbert, you are amazing. All right, that should knock it into red, and then we'll catch it. Perfect. Yeah, let's go for a Pokeball here. Preston, this one's for you. <laughs> and it's a female, but it's okay. Had to give him a quick shout-out. This guy makes my Twitch emotes, too. So, very cool. If you guys want to join the community, make sure to click the Discord link in the description, where you can talk to Preston, myself, and other people who are very chill. Okay, so come through. It's always a good time. Anyways, I do want to check out that Zubat, but first, we have some Pokeballs here. And we have another Mon as well. And Wooper, that would have been cool, but I already had a Water type, so I'm not mad that I didn't get that Wooper at all. And we get an Expert Belt. Yeah, you get such good items in the beginning, but trust me, it's going to get hard later, so it's definitely worth. As we also get Rock Tomb here, I don't think anyone on my team can learn it anyways. Maybe when Turtwig evolves. But for now, I do want to go ahead and check out that Pokemon, because when you go through the Ravage Path, they actually don't let you go all the way through, because we have to go to Orberg first. Alright, you guys, let's go ahead and check out that Zubat. I'm very curious what kind of nature I got. Let's see it. Ah, uh, we get Timid. Okay, Timid's actually really good, because this makes this the fastest thing ever. And Crobat gets Nasty Plot, so it could be a special attacking Crobat, really. But this game also gives it Cross Poison, which is 90 base power in the ROM hack. And then also it gets Brave Bird, so I wanted it more like a physical attacker, but I can't complain. Timid is still pretty good. It has Inner Focus too, so sure, we will keep Zubat in box one for now. I know Preston's going to kill me for that, but if any of my members die, let's just say Starly goes down, I'm probably going to bring in Zubat next out of the three. 
All right, it is time to head to the next route. As we know, unfortunately for me, it's not going to be a surprise anymore because I did do this part, but we do have to battle Gavin, our stupid rival, unfortunately. So he does have some really good Pokemon. I'm not going to train for this. I want to see if I can 6-0 him. I really do want to see if I can. Obviously, I have a Charmander that's only level 5, so it's pretty much useless. But I don't want it to die or anything, so I really hope I don't white out against this fool, man. He's got a really strong Munchlax. I'm very scared right now. Um, but without further ado, let's just do it. I mean, shoot. There he is. I, I, I got no other options. I, I could train, but you guys know I'm not about that life. I'm down for the challenge. This is all about the challenge. So we do get Gavin over here, and he leads with Starly. I actually forgot about that. It's not his uh, starter. This is actually okay because I might charm first, maybe? And I'm faster too, which is great. So that will drop the attack significantly so that the wing attacks will do far less damage. And then I can start going for some water guns here. I think that was just a better play in general because my water guns aren't doing too much. Bro. Oh, I almost just lost fi <sighs> Here we go, here comes the BS, guys. I'll go into Chimchar. It's at minus two. Now, the crit obviously matters like crazy, but as long as they don't crit me again, I should be fine. I should win this one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I do have HP Fire, which is like, I don't think it's even that much stronger than Ember, probably. Let's see. That did a lot, actually. Okay, that's good. So I will... Gavin. Really, dude? Nice cheats, bro. Of course, he gets the potion and I don't, but it's all good. Now, unfortunately for me, though, he's going to be able to attack me another two times because of that potion. I should make a rule where if they use potion, I can use one too. <laughs> I don't want to get crit here, it's not to switch again. Are you kidding me right now? He's at minus two, how is he doing so much damage? Whatever. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he was going for a quick attack, that's why. Okay, I am naturally faster, so the idiot didn't go for a quick attack that time around. And I got the crit on the useless one, of course. So, what a moron. Okay, we're good then. Actually, you know what? I have a plan here, guys. I am going to go into Shell Yeah on the Piplup, and we know that he has Munchlax too. I'm going to try to set up some curses. I think that might have to be the play. No, he is Peck, why? Shoot, but hey, I am getting my defense up. As long as he doesn't crit me, I should be okay. Uh, let's do one more, because his Peck should be doing less now. It's still doing a whole lot though, my goodness. Also, it could knock me into Overgrow range as well. Try I do one more curse? I don't think I need plus three. Let's go straight for this Razor Leaf. He does go for Water Pulse here, because he knows that hitting me on the special side is better. I should knock him out with this Razor Leaf straight up. Boom, gone. I'm at plus two right now. Hopefully, this is what I needed to beat that Munchlax. And I grow to level 12 as well. <sighs> this is what I needed to do. See, if I had done this blind, I would have been screwed against the Munchlax, to be fair. So I'm sorry, guys, I'm not doing this blind. But remember, I did start this Renegade Platinum playthrough. And then I went back to do a Nuzlocke. So it's only going to be these first three episodes, as I always say. I just say this. I say things multiple times because a lot of times I say things and people just ignore it and comment it anyways so that's why i say it that many times anyways goes for a tackle it's going to do absolutely nothing because i'm at plus two and this razor leaf should do a mil what wait did y'all see that hp bar that munchlax just dropped okay i think it has to do with the speed patch being that if they have a certain amount of hp it just goes instantly down but that that looks nuts oh my okay we just destroyed gavin we just 6 0 Gavin, and you know what? He crit me too. Yep, let's go, dude. I'm always hyped when I can beat my rival. And he does give us an XP share, so that's very cool. I will definitely be using that on Charmander right now. Alright, you guys, so we are in a new route again. I feel like I've said that 10 times already this video, but last time was 204, now it's 203. I actually don't really know what's in this grass because I didn't really check it out the first time around, but I'm excited for something cool and something new. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. Oh! It's an Abra. Dude, wait, but it has teleport and I don't have mean look or anything. No, I have to catch it on my first go. Dude, nah, this is... Honestly, I want to catch it in a heal ball because it looks cool, but... I mean, it should be the same as a Pokeball anyways. I'm not going to be able to catch it. It's a waste. Dude, it's going to teleport. I'm going to lose my encounter for this route too. See, you guys are always complaining so fast about how I have too many Pokemon. See, these things happen, man. Dude, what if I catch it on the first try? Let's just go for a Pokeball. Come on, I don't even want to waste a heal ball because... Wait! <gasps> Bro! That was three rolls! Oh, I actually had my hopes up there. I hate this troll game. Oh, that was so close. We almost got an Abra and I feel like Alakazam is so good in this game. 
for a Nuzlocke. I really wanted that. That sucks. I know I use Alakazam for every run through. So I guess, okay, we won't get stale with it, but dang. If I had known and if I had Mean Look or something, that sucks. That is definitely a tough pill to swallow, but let's just keep it rolling for now. We just gotta keep our head up. You also get a Silk Scarf here, which is very nice. I'm gonna put that on Starly or Eevee. Here we go, guys. Double battle number one of this series. I'm super excited. They actually tell us what they're gonna use already, but I believe they have five. Yeah, so this is gonna be no joke. I'm actually really worried. And I forgot about the Shinx lead. Hopefully it doesn't have Spark. Uh-oh. I can't risk that, y'all. Oh, shoot, man. No, I gotta... I have to switch, I think. I can't risk it. So let me go into my Turtwig. And then with you... Mm, let's just attack, I suppose. Even though I'm at minus one attack. Let's just attack Shinx. I don't really care about Krikatot. Let's see if it has Spark. If it had Spark, I'm glad I switched out. Went for Howl, so I guess we'll never know. Um, I'm still gonna double attack the Shinx right now. Unfortunately though, stupid String Shot is so annoying. String, String Shot, that's hard to say, is so annoying. Because now we're gonna be slower than Shinx. But you know what? We should be able to Razor Leaf both and covet the Shinx once more. It did have Spark, so I'm glad I made the safe play there. Oh my goodness, that did so much. Yo, I almost lost my Eevee just now. This is crazy. Okay, I need to hit my Razor Leaf on Shinx, please. Okay, Shinx goes down. Thank god plus one Shinx is gone, but... Dude. Oh, the XP share, right, on Charmander. Oh my... And they have a Sand True too. The play is clear here. I gotta go for Razor Leaf, and I gotta get the hell out with Eevee. Dude, this is... This Nuzlocke is hard, man. I'm gonna go into my bird. Dude, would Chance... Would Sand True have Rock Throw or something? Oh, man. I really hope it doesn't, dude. I feel like it doesn't. Bulldoze, perfectly predicted. <laughs> Let's go. He actually attacked himself, um, the Krikatot, but speed falls all around. I'm going to be slower than everyone anyways, but here's the good part. Razor Leaf should knock out Sandshrew and do... That did zero. Never mind, I lied. Um, let's Razor Leaf once more, and then actually I might... Hmm. Should I just knock out Krikatot and let Razor Leaf... I'll just wing attack Sandshrew. Like, Krikatot's a non-factor, dude. Oh, I got a crit. That's actually... A... It did have a rock move. <gasps> Bro, they have coverage so early. Dude, that could have been all bad if they got a crit. See, I'm actually risking a lot by doing what I'm doing. I'm risking crits for sure, y'all. Don't play, man. Speaking of crits, I just get one on the cricket top when it's not ever necessary. And we get level 7 with Charmander, so at least the XP share is going to be very helpful for sure. And level 8 with it. Oh my goodness. And it's cool. I'm getting everything. And there's a Zubat here. I... Is it going to have a Poison or Flying move on my Turtwig? Like, this is really tough, y'all. I feel like switching out Bolt or something, but I don't... I'm just going to go for a Tackle once. I think I can take any hit just because I'm at full. But for a Siakam, it's probably best to switch... ...into Chimchar. I, I, I suppose. Okay, good. That's fine. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're looking good. So let's keep going for Tackle here, and then for you, I'm going to HP Fire, which I get Stab on, which is still funny. I have HP Fire. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm actually getting... I'm getting the crits, but if they crit me even once, I would have been screwed. So, thankfully, we look okay here. Get some good levels there as well. Fury Swipes, sure. I'm probably going to miss whenever I go for it, but let's just go... Wait, I could have deleted Leer. What am I doing? I'm dumb. Oh well, whatever. Last is a Rattata. And let's go ahead and Razor Leaf plus HP Fire. <laughs> What? Huh? Did it just miss? I, I Did it go for a quick attack? I'm so confused. Did I get an evasion boost? I, I didn't see that. I don't know what just happened. I don't have bright powder on any- I'm so confused. Hustle! Hustle! It had hustle! That's what it was. Hustle or Rattata. That could have been very scary, you guys. That is a 1.5 boost plus dab. All right, we have another trainer here. Let's go ahead and battle him. I'm starting to really think twice about this Nuzlocke, y'all. It's, it's going to be tough. And I lead with the wrong Mon. Oh, no. It's probably going to go for Fake Out anyway, so I think it's okay to just switch directly into my bird. Oh, man. And the thing about my Pokemon are they're, they all have terrible defensive stats, so if I don't kill something, I'm risking myself big time. I get another crit, but I don't think that maybe it could have mattered because Siakam has proven to be quite weak. Machop, let's just stay in. 
Hopefully I can knock this thing out and it doesn't crit me with Karate Chop or something. See, like, there's so many risks. Thank goodness it goes for Leer, but you guys know what I mean, right? Like, it's just, you have to strategize a lot more in a Nuzlocke. It makes it so much more fun. I'm getting crits so much. Like, I've never been this lucky, I swear. But, hey, I'm getting the luck in the early parts. Later on, it's going to screw me over, I'm telling you guys. Man, why? These double battles are so much harder. Okay, nice, I don't care. Let's just get straight into it, guys. I'm so worried. Like, just not using potions makes this so hard. Anyways, this is not the best matchup because I see a water type and I have a fire type. It's not worth. But then there's a flying type and I have a grass type. Like, I don't know what to do. I I'm not going to switch both my mons out, though. You guys think I can take a peck with Shell? Yeah, I think I can. Oh my goodness, man. Dude, alright. I'm just going to... I'm a big boy and I'm going to stay in. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Let's go for HP Fire. Doesn't do enough. Good, it went for Growl. I felt like they weren't going to, like, attack me right off the bat or do something crazy. I feel like Psyduck will probably Water Gun. Yep. Oh, goodness. Oh my. Okay, okay, okay. I need to calm down. So, Razor Leaf, hopefully it just knocks them both out, but it doesn't do either. I'm gonna stay in and Razor Leaf again, because I did get growled. But you're gonna have to go, Pimpanzee. Let's go into Gilbert to take the Water Gun. Oh my goodness. And they do peck me. That did nothing. So Turtwig's actually awesome. Turtwig's been doing really well for us so far. Let's go for another Razor Leaf here, and knock out Spiro and Psyduck. So we should get both. Or I can miss. Okay, that's the first bit of hacks that comes. It's fine. I've been critting a lot, so I'm okay with it. So let's go for another Razor Leaf here, and just in case Razor Leaf doesn't kill Cubone, which I don't think it will, I'm going to Water Gun the Cubone as well, which should do a whole ton, if not just kill it with a crit. Wow, okay, there's a lot of hacks going on right now from both sides. Don't know if that mattered, but Confusion shouldn't do too much. We're fine. Yep, we're good. Razor Leaf should knock out Psyduck here. Boom. Okay, we're looking a lot better against this double battle than the first one. Ah, uh, but there's still two more. I can't talk so early. Ah, the sun current that escapes me. Alright, let's go for some... Hmm. I feel like HP Bug won't do crap to sun current anyway, so I feel like I should just Razor Leaf here. No, I might do that, just because this is, a, this is not a water type, it's a normal type. So let's just do this plus... Well, you, I have to switch out. So let's go into a fire... Let's actually go to Charmander. Let's use Charmander for the first time. There it is, so cute. Let's go for HP Bug and see how much it does to sun current. That did, a, that did a good chunk. I'm glad I did that. Oh my goodness, it's going for growth. Okay. Tail whips me. That's fine. I don't care. I should be able to win this. Why do they always hit both? Like, just tail whip one. Come on. All right, let's go for HP bug immediately on Sunkern. I'm going to make the save play. Just in case I get min damage, I want that Sunkern dead. I do not want it attacking me. Then again, it is a grass move against grass and fire. I'll be fine. Let's just go ahead and ember the user rule. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think, I think I made the right decision here. Because even if it lives this HP bug, which it didn't, but if it did, um, it, it would have it would have done nothing to me anyways. Even at plus one. It's a sun kern. I'm, I'm being scared of a sun kern. As I totally forgot that just because it's not a water type doesn't mean that he can't have water moves. Thankfully, that did nothing to my Charmander. So let's just go ahead and go for Razor Leaf plus Ember all the way until this battle is over. Goes for another bubble. No crits, we're good. It's hitting both, so that lowers the attack a little bit, and it's a bubble for crying out loud. So we do end up killing that Azuril. What a crazy game, man. These double battles are no joke. It, anytime I see double battles, I gotta really make sure I'm prepared for that. All right, you guys, so there's one more item before we head into the next area, and it is a Soothe Bell, which is actually really cool because you can use that to evolve stuff like your Azuril if you have one, or any other thing that evolves with happiness. But for now, we don't really have that, so I'm not going to be using it. Alright you guys, so I think that's enough for this episode. We got a lot done and we got a lot of new members. We still have no dead Pokemon yet, so we're doing really, really well. But more challenges lie ahead. We are going to go to Orberg City next time and maybe try to challenge the gym as well for episode 3. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. It really does help spread the series around, guys. And I'll see you next time. Deuces.